Hey you guys, it's your girl Nay, back again with another video. Now I know, I know, I know, I know, it's been a long time since I blessed you guys with a video, but just been living, doing my own thing, you know, living for self and doing things that make me happy. Now, when we last spoke, which was about six months ago, <laughs> I was just recently getting into like self basically and just to sum it up I was getting into self and learning the things that made me happy and how to attract happiness into my life now as some of you may or may not know I have not worked in over a year now I quit my job at the post office November 5th, 2019, and I have been job free since then. And as you can see, I have had not a worry, not a stress, not a nothing. Life is just good, <laughs> real good. <laughs> and I'm just being real blissful about it because I was just working a nine to five and I was stressed beyond measures like my asthma had kicked back up I haven't had asthma since I was five I had started back with my asthma treatments I was seeking therapy just because the stress of my job and it wasn't even the workload because um i'm a very motivated individual like so i was always the type to go get my money like i ain't gonna ask nobody for no money because i got the money that i need like type stuff like i would never go without if i knew that i could get it myself type stuff like i had a single parent so she always been the type to just go get it go get it like wait on what wait for what type stuff so i insist I also got that same attitude, that same momentum about myself. It was more so like the mental capacity of it all. I had an overbearing supervisor that definitely abused his power to the max. And that's just all that I'm going to say about that just because I've come so far from that low frequency area of my life because I literally was living in a low frequency I was resonating at a low frequency I was always angry I was always tired always fatigued I just didn't want to deal and my attitude myself my everything like just it showed it and I just wasn't happy like I was living day to day and everybody who I run into like, oh, you got the best job, this, that, the third. You're working at the post office, it's beneficial. You got this, you got that, like, but that's really all that I would have to go off of. Like, I have this job and that is the reason I have this job type thing. If you get what I'm saying? Like, I'm stressing myself out so that I can't have life insurance or health insurance and pay my bills type stuff like that was the motive behind everything and obviously growing up like you've seen your parents work so you gain that type of attitude that you think that you're supposed to work in work until you 65 70 and able to retire and then live your life like that's not the way it's supposed to be well I'm not gonna speak on you I'm just gonna speak for me that's not the way that I wanted to live my life and like even all the older people who I speak to now, they be like, oh, you're going to be, well, really, this was just my grandma. <laughs> she, oh, you're going to be so sad when you don't get your retirement plan and this, that, and the third. I'm grandma. I'm not living to make the white man rich. If anything, I'm going to create something that is solely for me that I'm going to benefit off and I'm going to be the one that somebody working for. And throughout this whole year, that's what I've been implementing and I've never been more happy. I've never been more at peace. And I ain't missing out a meal. Bills paid early still. <laughs> like, I'm just grateful and I'm thankful. And 
said, not until I got into really realizing me or acknowledging self that I was able to basically have this 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 dream or this thought fluorescent. Cause I remember just six months ago that I was basically here like stressed beyond measures, like not knowing what to do. And that was the reason that I turned to self meditations and things of that such. I've just acknowledged the growth of where I've come from, from watching my videos today from back then. It's just so much growth within me. Like even my face, my skin, like everything just was changing. I got to meditating and being thankful for where I'm at today. And I acknowledged my world just opened up literally. I'm like, money was flowing in left and right. I didn't have a need or a want. Like everything was just good. Family was good. Nothing was, everything was everything. I had literally no stress in my life. I stopped taking my asthma pump. I stopped having asthma or trash issues and all, like everything just became greater. And I know a lot of people probably like, uh, just off meditation. I mean, but you know, everything starts somewhere. And once you meditate, you're able to live in the now. You're able to acknowledge everything for what it is, see how far you've come. Cause I'm guaranteeing that where you are today is not where you were three, five years ago. Cause I know for myself, definitely wasn't. I was stressed out, <laughs> but didn't have a pot to basically piss me in. Like only thing I had was my car and I barely had that. I'm not even gonna lie. Like I had a guy that I was dealing with and we were dealing with each other for like two, two years, two and a half years. We had moved in with each other and shit just went downhill. Like within like four or five months of us being together, like we lost the, the crib. So I had a apartment on my credit for which um, I had to stop paying on. Well, I actually paid my half. He didn't pay his half, but because both our names was on the lease, it still looked like it was my fault. So I had that. I had allowed him to put a car in my name. He stopped paying. I had that. I allowed him to put a phone in my name. He stopped paying. Obviously, I had that. And all of this was just negative, negative, negative. So I was so stressed out. Like, when I got this crib, I was beyond happy because I had got denied so many times before because of that issue so i was just able to sit down and acknowledge where i was at as opposed to where i had been and i just started being thankful because we always forget to be thankful and we always want to dwell on what we don't have or what we what we supposed to be and things of that such and when you dwelling on something that you don't have you still ain't gonna have it. <laughs> I mean, that's just that. That's the nicest way I can put it. But when you are thankful for the things that are in your life, for the love you do have, for the crib you do have, for the car you do drive, the shoes you can buy, like you acknowledge that you're able to get things that you weren't able to. I mean, I was, I was buying designer and things of that such, but it was more so on a special occasion type thing, like birthdays, holidays, such. But now I'm just going into Gucci, buying a $3,000 bag just because type stuff. Even though I know that's something that I shouldn't do just because it's just stupid anyways. But the fact that I'm able to do it. And even when I was working at the post office, <laughs> that wasn't something that I was able to do. Like I was just living to literally pay my bills. And once my bills was paid, like, I probably had a couple hundred dollars left over type shit. And I just acknowledged that that's just not the life that I want to live. But since I've quit my job, I've saved up three times more than I've ever had in my savings account. In both accounts, actually, because I have two. And both of them have tripled in savings. 
All my bills are still paid. I don't have to touch my savings. I got other money just around, like things that I'm able to invest in, things that I'm able to buy. And this is like a mind frame that I didn't have at all before. Like I was just working to retire, to get that 401k and live my life because I thought that that's how it was supposed to be. But the frequency that I'm flying on right now, I just want to give it to everybody. <laughs> So when I tell you to meditate, 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 I'm not just saying that because it's repetitive. Well, it is super repetitive, but I'm saying that because it actually changes everything and you'll acknowledge it. It comes in the, the smallest forms of just you being able to deal with your day to day and then it grab, it moves up to you being able to get that car that you want or you being able to get that place that you want and without a worry, without a care, like no, not hearing no's nowhere, just being able to do it. But I've been living good. I'm getting ready to move into a bigger house, well, a bigger apartment, but I'm in the I'm in the market of looking to purchase houses. Right now I'm investing in things that I never even like thought twice about a year ago. Getting vending machines, putting them up. Like I'm making money in my sleep by not doing nothing. Not stressing, just being happy and living in the day, living in the now acknowledging me and my abilities and actually doing it and not waiting on nobody and that's how you do it so i just hope that this was a little motivational for you just made you want to get up and do something a little bit more but i'm telling you when you start acknowledging self and i mean really acknowledging self not just the lashes or the pretty face like really acknowledging self the inside of self and you deal with your demons you just take time to acknowledge it and and see how much better it get see how much better you get see how much better your attitude gets see how much better the surrounding get see how much better the people who surround you get like I've made, I've, my friendships have gotten stronger. I've even got back in cahoots with people who I haven't talked to for years, just off petty, petty disagreements. But it just makes you acknowledge like the importance of genuine things and people who mean you well and going after things that make you happy, first and foremost. Doing what makes you happy, going after things that makes you happy, and leaving things that don't bring you happiness alone. It'll definitely do that. Even when you start meditating, the thing that you couldn't get away from that you knew was toxic within your life, you're going to have the strength to do that. And even if you didn't want to, even if you was like, I know this shit is bad for me, but I don't care, I'm still going to do it. Once you start meditating and getting into self, that's going to be all the things you want to do anyways. You're going to want to just make that a permanent feeling, make that forever. <laughs> so you start moving differently, you start eating differently, you start thinking differently. Y'all remember what I used to say, what would a person who loves themselves do? I've literally intimate implements. <laughs> I don't know what I was just going for with that. I literally implemented this into my everyday life. And now I've gotten to the point where I don't even ask myself, what would a person who loves themselves do? I just do what a person who loves themselves does. Now I'm breaking all type of goals and lines that I said I couldn't cross are crossed. No hesitation. But 
this is just a little glimpse of what the future is to hold because this is just the start. So I hope this gave you something. I hope this made you want to go meditate. <laughs> meditate, meditation, meditate, meditate. <laughs> but peace and love, you guys. Thanks for listening. <laughs>